Hello and welcome, Adam Thomas from Bouncing Touch Reflexology. So good to see you and thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to look at some other foot tools that can help us with mobility. We're going to go look at balls. Massage balls can be very expensive actually. Um, but I find the best and most effective ones are balls that we probably have lying around our house. Um, there is one that you probably might not have lying around your house, and that is actually my favorite one, but you can pick them up online, you know, fairly cheap or at your um, local sports shop or things like that. Um, as soon as a ball gets the title of, uh, you know, massage ball, it suddenly, you know, doubles or triples in price. But really the massage balls out there are very similar to this one here, which I'm going to explain to you. So um, there are a bunch of different varieties of balls and textures and sort of hardness and things like that. So, you know, we have, um, you know, a softball here. So this one I find a little bit too big. Um, this is really good for rolling on your body, right? If you want to work out your calves or hamstrings or something like that. This is a really good option for you, but today we're talking about the feet and this is just a little bit too big to um, work effective and I think there's better options, but if this is all you have, this is a great option because it's nice and hard and you can put, you know, your body weight onto it if needed and um, it's just really great. It's also textured a little bit, so that's also nice as well. Um, but this is one that will um, that you can use if you don't have one um, Next one that's really common is a tennis ball. So tennis balls are great um, There's a lot of different uh, firmnesses to them, right? There's lots there's ones that are Basically for like dogs right the for throwing and you know for them to play fetch with and those are even um, Like they're really bad quality you can squish them and then they're like basically kind of broken, right? So if you do have a good quality tennis ball, it can be pretty good, um, especially if you have sensitive feet. But again, there's not, there's quite a bit of give to it here. Like you can see that right there, right? And it's just really kind of not my favorite for um, that as well, but it is a good option, right? Um, if that's all you have. Uh, another one here is this is like a street hockey ball. Okay. It looks very similar to the next one I'm going to show you, which I prefer. But you can see here that it, it does have quite a bit of give. And again, I put this in the same sort of category as the tennis ball. It's not my favorite pick, right? But it'll get the job done, and if that's all that you have, and you have sensitive feet, this is going to work perfect for you. Um, but I would really recommend, if you don't have it, is this one here, this is a lacrosse ball, okay? So you can find them online, you can get them at a sports shop, but these I just find are amazing. And if you compare this to a lot of the massage balls out there that are, you know, uh, titled massage balls or, or acupuncture sort of therapy balls or anything like that, acupressure, you know, sort of thing, massage ball, um, they're gonna be way more expensive, but they're pretty much the same thing. This is my go-to. It's got, it's like I can't really, um, you know, squish it, right? It does have a bit of give, so that's really nice. So it feels nice when you're actually working it. But this one is going to actually, um, you'll be able to put your body weight on it. It's a great size so that you can wrap your feet all around it. Like it's just um, really good. So if you don't have a lacrosse ball, I would highly man, uh, recommend picking one up um, for your, you know, sort of foot mobility exercises and things like that. So uh, I'm going to go show you now um, some ways to use it. And I'll show you um, also in comparison to the other um, balls as well. I'll just grab them. Okay, so over here, I'm going to show you before I get started here. So let's, um, let's go in the same order. So here's the softball. And you can see, yeah, it can do the trick, right? But it's a little bit big and clunky. And if you were on um, like this kind of a surface here, um, this would probably slip away quite easily. So I like to have, when I do do ball work, I like to have it um, on more of a kind of like rug like this here. 
to give me a bit more stability, right? But as you can see, it does work, right? It does work. But it's not my favorite, okay? Um, and then we can go to the tennis ball, okay? So you can see here, there's the tennis ball. And if I put pressure on, yeah, it feels okay, right? Yeah, but I can feel it denting in and it really, after a while, will break down and won't be useful anymore, right? But it does the trick. It's actually pretty good, right? You can roll across this way. It's quite good, actually. So yeah, there you go. Um, but not my favorite pick. Uh, very similar is the hockey ball here. Wish I had a different color one, but <laughs> so I could distinguish between the lacrosse and this one. But uh, we don't. Um, so as you can see here, this is very similar. In fact, it's actually worse than the tennis ball. Maybe I have a good tennis ball. But you can see, like it's really denting in. And also the surface of it isn't that great. Look, my foot is actually sticking to it. So maybe this has been outside and played with too much. Um, but yeah, just not good. But in a pinch, it works, right? If you don't have anything, this is fine. Then, um, my favorite one, which is the lacrosse ball. Okay, so let's see here. So, so how it bounces. So let's see what this one does. So more bouncy, right? Softball. Okay, lacrosse ball. See that? It's a lot bouncier. Right, so this is my choice right here. So if I step, look at that, I can put my full body weight on it, right? And it's totally um, still resisting, right? It's not caving out. You know, if I go back to this one and I put my full body weight on it, see it just, it's flat, it's smushed right down to almost nothing. Of course, I do feel it and it's really great. But um, over time, it's going to, you know, just not be useful anymore. So yeah, pick up one of these lacrosse balls if you don't have one. Highly recommend. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. And pick up a lacrosse ball if you, if you want. Go ahead and buy the massage balls as well. They're really great. They're pretty much the same thing. Some of them will have extra little like uh, nodules on and things like that if you're into that. But I would recommend starting um, like the ones there the lacrosse one is a good starting one for you and it can last a really long time as well because as you saw the tennis ball and stuff yes they work they work great um if that's all that you have please use them they work really good um i didn't actually show you a golf ball but you can use golf balls but again they're a little bit like they're not the right size where the lacrosse ball is perfect so anyway enough about that <laughs> go get a lacrosse ball yeah go get it in the next video i actually show you an exercise that is greatly beneficial for your feet using the lacrosse ball so until next time uh, take care of your feet and remember to keep them happy thanks for watching bye bye if you're interested in learning more about reflexology you could subscribe to the channel below it's also very helpful to hit that like button and feel free to share it with anybody who you think might be interested in it you can find my online courses reflexology charts and other reflexology goodies over on my website which is balancingtouch.ca thank you so much for watching today and if you have some more time you can check out some other videos till next time this is adam thomas from balancingtouch.ca see you later